So the question here is, what happens if when we do this connection, if bile kind of washes back up into the back of your throat, the bile, as we talked about, is a detergent. If it ever happens, it's a really unpleasant, uncomfortable, painful, even potentially dangerous kind of thing. And around the country, you may wonder, if the MGB is so good, why is it all the other doctors are not doing it? Okay, and the answer is, they all honestly believe that bioreflux is going to be common and maybe even occur in 100% of our patients. That basically because of this connection, that the normal digestive bile is going to come back, hit the junction where we put the stomach to the bowel, and it's going to flood back up, cause irritation and vomiting and all kinds of pain and problems. Okay? And what we think is uh, not so much. In other words, when we've been talking here this morning, we've had some post-op patients, and nobody brought up a year out, 10 months out, nobody said, oh, and by the way, I'm suffering from bile reflux. And you've also participated, you've talked to how many of my patients do you think? At least 10. At least 10. And you've talked to how many of my patients? At least 10. And you've talked to how many of my patients? And you've one. talked to how many patients, plus you live with one. Yeah. And you've <laughs> talked, now how many people have had patients of mine who've had trouble with bile reflux? So we've got 10 times 10 times 10. We just don't see it very often. Now, we absolutely do see it sometimes. Let me say that again. We absolutely do see it sometimes. And when we see bile reflux, we say, why is it that 99 days out of 100, people who have this connection do not have bile reflux, and then on one day, they do? And our explanation is simple. And I want to come back to that explanation after I tell you two little stories. One is, you're mowing the lawn one summer day, you come into the house and you drink a big glass of fresh squeezed, tart lemonade. Now do the same thing, but this time you have a big cold sore. Can you imagine pain when that hits that? Or think of it this way, we all go to Hawaii. We walk into the beach and we walk into the warm surf in Hawaii. Sounds good? Now instead, we're all walking to the beach and I'm talking. I'm not looking where I'm going, we all fall down. And we scrape up our knee, great big, huge scrapes on our knees, and now we walk into the warm surf. Now what happens? Pain. Okay, so salt water on intact skin, no big deal. Salt water on an open wound, ouch. Acid lemonade in your mouth with intact mucosa, who cares? Acid lemonade in your mouth with an ulcer, hurts. Bile going by the stomach, no big deal. Bile going by the stomach with an ulcer, hurts, spasms, reflux. So when we have a patient who says, I have bile reflux, I think ulcer and I give my patients anti-ulcer medicine, like Prilosec or something that's an actual antacid, not an anti-bile drug. And what we found is people who come to me and say, I have bile reflux from your surgery, I give them an anti-ulcer medicine like Prilosec and they get better. But because of their opinion, if one of my patients with bile reflux goes to another doctor, the doctor who believes that the MGB will cause bile reflux, they will operate and give them a Roux and Y. Which is okay with me if you want to do that. But we put in our operative permit, you might want to call me first. Because there are good honorable doctors who honestly believe that the best treatment for the MGB with bile reflux is surgery. And there's actually a group of doctors that actually published an article saying, we've seen 15 people who had an MGB, who had bile reflux, and we operate on seven of them to make them into Roux and Wise. And I'm not opposed to that, but I wouldn't have, if you ask me, I wouldn't have major surgery for an ulcer when you could take a little Prilosec. Now, if you're really worried about bile reflux, don't have the MGB. I'm not very worried about it. I want to tell you that there are people who are worried about it. If you talk to 100 of my patients, there will be people that have it occasionally, and most of the time we fix it by giving you an antacid, which sounds paradoxical because bile is actually kind of basic. So if we see it, we worry about it, but we fix it with Prilosec. 
But now there is something else that's also called reflux, and this is where it can get, conf if you think about it, that was a fairly complex explanation, and it's kind of hard to understand, and I think, honestly, the other surgeons in the country don't quite get that. They say, you're going to have bile reflux, they see some of my patients who have bile reflux, so their, their belief is confirmed, and they operate and make them a Roux and Y and say, Dr. Rutledge, see? And what we say is, eh, okay, but we say people with bile reflux, we give them Prilosec and they get better. <coughs> Okay, now there's another kind of reflux that you see advertised on TV every night, and that's where they have gastroesophageal reflux without my surgery. It's called GERD. <clears throat> and you see the advertisements every night for the purple pill, for Prilosec and all these other medicines, for um, Pepsid Complete. The idea there is people are having acid reflux, which is different than bile reflux. It's acid reflux into the lower esophagus and that can be dangerous, can it lead to cancer and there is treatment for that. Most of our patients, about two-thirds, have it pre-op. So how many of you are already taking Prilosec or something like that for a reflux? Okay. And it turns out you haven't had any surgery with me yet. It turns out that you have something different. It's called gastroesophageal reflux, and I want to focus on the G from gastric acid refluxing up into the esophagus. And what kind of surgery are you about to have? It's a mini G gastro. Oh, wait. we're going to bypass most of the stomach. Therefore, most of the acid gets bypassed, and so our patients who have gastroesophageal reflux pre-op often get better post-op because the surgery itself is a good treatment for gastroesophageal reflux disease.